Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from earthyscrap.blogspot.com and Earthy Scrap on Facebook and this is my second video using the March Pocket Life Kit from Citrus Twist. It's called Lemon Drop and it's super cute. I think that in my last video I also had one of these pages with a bunch of 3x3s. I'm doing it again. I'm gonna use a lot of that format in 2018 and hopefully I can find a pocket page that is pocket protector that is similar because this one is from October afternoon and I get sad it's like that that boyfriend that got away <laughs> October afternoon but I love them anyways the paper that comes in the kit is from here and there from crate paper and I also use some of the journaling cards to put in my 3x3 pockets all I have to do is cut one inch off the bottom and I can use them and this is a super simple card all I did was put a sticker that says it's 2 a.m. for me and that a.m. stamp is from an older kit I love all of these stamps I have them in a little space my Antonio straight on my table they're just so convenient and I like to use them all but I think this one uh, I can't remember which month this one was but it's one of my favorites and also I made this pocket spread in video it's just a little late you know it's hard to do voiceovers with third graders practicing the recorder I know you love live music but maybe next time and my no it wasn't a challenge it was I'm sorry technique Tuesday and the technique that I was showing was that a few things that you can do using the labels and in every kit we get a bunch of little cool labels and I have so many because sometimes they also include them in the cut aparts so in there you saw that I stamp on a photo. You can also use that if you do a little oops on uh, the past photo with the drinks. Maybe you can put the label on top and then stamp there. Or if you're not that comfortable stamping on a photo, maybe you can just do the label. I also like to write words whether it's with my handwriting or with these awesome alphas. Oh, and by the way, you need to see the April Alphas. If you're not in the Citrus Twist fan group, I'm going to put the link below. I always have it way at the bottom. And you need to go see them because they are so pretty. And this stamp, I think it's also the same one that says date in life and things like that. I also like to use the labels for layering. And like always, I have a bunch of little hearts and those amazing stars from the embellishment kit. I love those. And I'm going to stamp in my cup of Harry Potter tea. Well, it's not Harry Potter tea. My cup is Harry Potter. But I'm going to stamp on the tea and just says drink. And I use my stays on to stamp in black and the brilliance to stamp in white. And I really like how that looks and I could have done that in white too but I still like it in red and actually in black what is up with me sorry about that and this is one of the cards that it was a uh, 3x4 card and I just cut off one inch and it looks awesome so they're really um, versatile cards you know if even if you use them uh, horizontally you can use them too so I like that this kit is not for the people who do a specific kind of pocket life. You know, if you're a minimalist, then you can do minimalist. But if you like to put everything in the kitchen sink like I do, and I think uh, Adele kind of does too, Inky Quill. So you have that option and you have all those um, embellishments so you can keep layering and layering but if you're simple then you have amazing little cards that you just need to stamp a little here and just put a little heart there and then you're done 
if you like more simple kind of um, pocket pages, then you can watch dearly the dearly these videos, Diane's videos. She's awesome. Like I love her videos, even though my style is not like hers. I get really good ideas from her, and also Candace does really pretty and simple. And I kind of love this little title card. I don't know. I love title cards. But I can't do them. I know I've seen people that do all the title cards in one sitting and then just slip them down. I need to see my photos and the whole scheme of things before I do things like that. It's like people that do layouts without the photos. I, I can't. To me... Without the photos, I can't do anything. I, I can't tell the story. I don't know which colors to use. My tiny stapler was being a little bit... I, it almost became a frisbee in the, on that video. But I skipped that for you because you don't need to see the anger management that me and the stapler went through. And this is part of a little project my daughter did for school, my four-year-old. And I like adding, I don't want to brag, but look, she's four. That's pretty good. <laughs> and the thing is that they're going to continue to learn and grow and write even better. So it's nice to have to look back at things like this and see how they used to be. That's why I do it with Jordans too, Because I don't like to hoard papers. I hate hoarding like you know clutter and things like that and they know it i don't have to hide it from there but they know that i do take a picture especially of the really good art and i keep it and here i use the label and the stars to rate this movie and i like how that came out because i have a stamp but sometimes you know even i don't have the space or i don't want to do it and i really like this idea and i might do it again and this movie was pretty good but I'm disappointed with Kevin Hart and that movie. Sorry about that. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna use this little label to put Dino Museum, and I'm using the Tumble Mono Permanent Adhesive Plus, and it's my favorite. It's really strong. If you don't like something that it's too strong, maybe. You will like the adhesive dots, but I love this one. And I've seen people using the green Tumbo adhesive and that is the removable. So you, you need to read the label because I know that some people are like, oh, but everything falls down because it's not meant to hold permanently. So you should watch out for that. I put a star next to my daughter's dino and little photo with... Uh, it said paleontologist and the kind of dinosaur she made. We read a giant book of dinosaurs recommended by Brenda. I forgot Brenda's last name, but she's a crafter too, really gifted. And it was an awesome book. And she ended up deciding for the Triceratops. And I'm like, really? We read this whole book? <laughs> to pick one of the most common but she was like she loved the triceratops and this is just a little layering you know my combo is a die cut washi and a little sprinkle like those stars that come in the embellishment kit or the little hearts that i cut out using my die from lawn fawn And here I'm using the labels again for layering and I use a bunch of labels and I didn't even make a dent in my collection because every month they have a lot and I think no I'm gonna show you next video I'm sorry I like to like do things in a batch like I like to film all the videos and then edit them and then when I get a chance like today I like to do all the voiceovers so for the next video you're gonna see that I got a bigger box to put all my embellishments my older embellishments because every month I put it in a little box that I get from the dollar store and then when the month is done and I'm ready to open my new 
embellishment pack, I put them in a bigger one. And I really love the stickers. The, the paper and the stickers from the embellishment kit were kind of leaning towards travel, but you can use it for a bunch of things. And another thing you can do with labels is write your journaling on them. For that one, I use my typewriter, which is about to die and ugh, I don't want to buy the We're Memory Keepers one because it's so expensive and I've heard terrible things about it. So if you tried it, please let me know what you think of it because I saw it on my Tuesday morning for $100 and I was so tempted. So as you can see, washi, little heart slash sprinkle and I got this idea from the are you Christine currently cards I actually had one currently card in lieu of that one and I said you know what I'm gonna since I'm looking for ideas to show with the labels I'm gonna do it this way so I stamped uh, watching, reading, listening to, making and loving and then I used my typewriter to type the words and I use the mono adhesive dots for that because the removable my my typewriter is really weird and sometimes things get stuck in there and I didn't want that to happen so I use the removable dots no I'm sorry the mono adhesive dots not the removable but since it's just dots instead of a solid stripe it's easier to remove so I can put it in another card and this is just gonna be a fun filler card I'm gonna use the stickers from the here and there collection and my favorite stamp in this set was a phrase that says it's all good because it reminds me if you're a mom you know the story Pete the cat do we cry? Goodness no, because it's all good. So I'm going to be using that a lot, probably. And I was fighting with lighting today like you have no idea. And there's, here is the final result. This is week 5 of 2018. And I really like how it came together. I'm t I didn't think that I was taking that many photos and apparently I am. I have a lot of them. And I just printed all my photos so I'm ready to go. I only have six spreads left on 2017 so wish me luck. Hopefully I'll be done with that soon. I love that yay me card. This puffy stickers from this month, they were awesome. I used a bunch of them. And stay tuned because remember that the last video, the third video with the Suggest Twist Kit is going to be the leftover, the video with the leftover from the leftovers, goodness, from the kit. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your friends. I hope the ideas with the labels were useful, especially for those of you who subscribe to the kit. And I hope you enjoy it. Have an awesome day. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm Jenny Garcia and on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm Earthy Scrap on Facebook and my blog is EarthyScrap.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Happy beginning of spring or autumn if you're in the southern hemisphere. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.